Hi everybody, I made it back from Pennsylvania, back from the barn, back to Austin, and thanks for joining me on my little walk yesterday, if you watched that live walk from work, that was fun. A lot of good people on there, a lot of good people. All right, so we're going to shave today. <laughs> now you guys know uh, I like to shave with vintage razors, and you also know that I own this Gillette from 1918, and this thing shaves like a monster, still fantastic razor, made 104 years ago now. This is a civilian model. Uh, this came out at the end of World War I, and, but this was for the... What the heck? This looks like an explosion going off at the German front lines in the trench battles. Goodness gracious. Anyway, this was made for civilians. So, if you know, right at the end of the war, kind of, you know, selling to the, to the general public, probably the doughboys that came back and if they, you know, left theirs behind. Because if you were in the U.S. military, you were issued one of these. This is the Gillette khaki set from World War I. This one, I believe, is 1918 as well. So the end of World War I. It's this beautiful old box. And I bought this for my oldest son, who sometime soon will be shaving. And he's a huge history buff, a huge military um, paraphernalia, jet fighters, things, you know... We went to the World War I Museum in Kansas City, and I thought, what better way to get him a razor? His first razor will be one that is from 1918 that is actually the property of the U.S. Army. Look at this. Here's the set. So if you were issued one of these, you would get the razor, of course, three-piece with the handle and the head, and you get some blades. And if you look real close, you see that property of the U.S. Army, property of the U.S. Army, Gillette khaki set. So, this thing right here, see this little bit? You know what this is? This is, check this out. And these sets often don't have this bit anymore. This has a, it is a mirror. Shaving mirror. Ah, oh, you can see all the stuff, see? <laughs> shaving mirror. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use this shaving mirror and try to just use it. I've got my big mirror over here that I always use, but I'm gonna try to just shave with the one that they would have shaved with back in World War I, and I'm gonna put this together. Now, my son hasn't shaved with it yet. I've cleaned it up and everything and sanitized it, so I'm going to shave with it first. It's, it's father's prerogative, right? All right, so I'm gonna take this thing up. Make sure it shaves well. I don't wanna give him a bum razor, even though this is so cool, the khaki set. Property of the U.S. Army, don't tell him. Don't tell them, they're probably gonna come get this now. The statute of limitations, I'm sure, is over by now, but check this out. So here's the razor, here's the handle. It's got a couple of cracks in it, like all these early, early Gillettes do. There's a crack right there. Um, but the ball is in there really well, so that's good. The threads seem to look good. The two-piece head, here's another great image. Look at that, I don't know if you can see it. It says property, where is it? Sorry. Yeah, property of the U.S. Army. Shucks, there it is. I'm trying to catch it in the light so you can see. Anyway, it's imprinted into the metal there. Property of the U.S. Army. So, a three-piece, just like my other one. And it's one of those really thin little comb-style razors. This uh, is, the serial number is J4271. And if you have one that has J, and obviously, uh, that's military. <laughs> so, if you have one, like, out of the pack that, that you find in an antique store, this one doesn't have, uh, doesn't have a J on it. I can't remember what it is. But this one does because that's the indicator that it was property of the U.S. Army. All right, so what I'm going to do is take a modern feather blade, as I always do, pretty much. Take the head of this razor. Look at that. Simple, effective, elegant design. Works with modern razor blades. Forward thinking. This thing is in really good shape. It's really shiny. I don't know if this was used much, if at all. But, I mean, that crack in sort of indicates that it would be. But I don't know. I don't know. So, screw the top down onto the base. Make sure you tighten it up there. Make sure you don't cut yourself doing that. I always like to hold the edges with a towel or something and gently tighten it. There we go. This is the 1918 U.S. Army khaki set. Here's my grungy, very grungy 1918 uh, civilian. But very, very similar, if not identical. To one another. I haven't really compared the two, but yeah, they look, they seem to be identical, except for this one was used a lot, and I still use it a lot. 
Well, maybe not a lot, but okay. So there's the razor. We got it loaded. We've got the little, uh, I took a shower. I did my hair, as you can tell. And I've got this little, the little mirror. And it says it on the back there too. Oh yeah, you already saw that. So anyway, put that to the side. I'm trying not to reflect anything that you don't want to see, if you know what I mean, when I'm holding the mirror up to there. So I'll be holding the mirror over here. You'll be seeing the back of it. Okay. I'm going to be lathering up using my, uh, my final, well, up till now, Sinatra Lennon signature brush. I don't know if that one sold very well or not. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm, just because I'm going to use the Christmas, sh Christmas Eve shade from Sterling, just because I love it so much. And uh, remember those old stories of the Christmas Eve truce between the uh, was it the British and the Germans where they stopped for Christmas Eve and came into no man's land and, and chatted with each other and exchanged gifts and sang and had some wine. Or was it the French? I can't remember. Anyway. So that's what I'm going to do. That's my excuse for using this again. I'm going to put some hot water on my face. Lather up. Try not to get... Uh, I'm going to do it over here so I don't get foam all over the khaki set, which I have just kind of sitting there. Lather up in the little thing that it comes in. Ah, oh, it smells so good. Sheesh. All right, there we go. All right. Got some lather. Mmm. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, I'm looking in the mirror now, but I'm going to use the razor set mirror when I'm actually shaving just to see what it was like. It's a little tiny thing, but it would get the job done. And then you could signal with it if you needed to, which is probably why some of them are missing. If you find a khaki set today in an antique mall or on eBay or whatever, most of them seem to be missing that. But uh, I hope that my son, I think he liked it when, you know, he's, he's of that age right now where he's more into gaming than he is into anything. So he was more excited about getting a, a gaming chair, you know, <laughs> but I think the appreciation for this will come a little bit later. That's what I think. Oh, by the way, I got some shout outs. So let me go get my, my notes to read out the shout outs. Hold please. One going down. I don't know. Coming backwards. What the heck? Keep it interesting. Keep myself interested, really. That's what all this is for, just to keep me interested. <laughs> all right, so we're lathered up. We got the blade loaded up in the uh, property of the US Army, and we got the little tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny little mirror here. It's metal, by the way, so it won't break. It's just very shiny. It does work beautifully. Okay, I can see myself. All right, here we go. Oh, ho, ho. Ouch. You know what this one does, what mine does? On the edges, it pulls sometimes. I don't know why, but you, it's usually only on that first pass. It's kind of, I think it's if you start to go a little sideways or, you know, askance, slant, <laughs> that the edges will kind of yank your, your whiskers a little bit. Oh, this is totally doable. If you're out on the field, I mean, in the trenches with this thing, that's crazy to think about. There were men traveling to the European theater of battle, the front lines, in the trenches, and using these things every day. You'd probably, there's probably pictures of guys doing this. This is a great razor. This is so smooth. This might be better than my other one. I'm so glad. And don't worry, I am going to give it to my son. I know, I mean, I'm, look, I'm, I'm a culprit for... Uh, Buying toys for my children under the guise of it's for them, you know. But I thought this is just a perfect blend of his interest and his kind of point in life, you know, right now. He's not there yet, but he'll get there soon. Woo, smells good. That Christmas stuff smells great. This is a really good razor. This is a good one. It's in really fine condition. It's really like the one that I saw at the World War I museum in Kansas City was a khaki set like this that I put, did a video of. It was super grungy. Like it had been in the trenches. I don't even know if this one made it to the trenches, but uh, if it did, they took care of it. But the case is really kind of dirty, you know, and oil on it. So uh, who knows? Who knows? Wouldn't it be fascinating to be able to find out, right? Of course, there's just no way. There's just no way of knowing. But my uh, my son's, uh, well, my, my father-in-law, his father was a soldier 
in World War One. So my uh, my son's great grandfather was in the British Army during World War One. All right, hey, it's working all right, oh. dude. That is like one of the smoothest first passes around. Wow, holy cow! Oh, diamond in the rough, man. That's good. That combined with the smell of this Christmas Eve stuff and this kind of chintzy, not very good brush. <laughs> I was not happy with this brush when I got it. I'm still not, it's too small, the knot is too small. I thought the handle would be cool being kind of more natural, you know, wood and, and metal instead of just plastic. I don't know, it's too small in general. Might be good for a travel brush. Wouldn't want to use it in my own home. All right, second pass. Dry off my hand, grab the little mirror. Gosh, I mean, this, it's out of control, this hair. This is embarrassing. All right, <laughs> here we go again. Hold it upright so it doesn't bother. Yeah, I'll hold it like this so it doesn't, did, was I holding it the other way? Was it bothering you that I was holding it like that upside down? That would bother me, my slight OCD. Oh, God, I'm, I caught myself. Did you see what I was doing? I was looking over here. Dang it. Okay, here we go. I heard you, I heard you yelling. It's just habit, folks. Oh, speaking of habit, let's shout out. We've got three shout outs today. We got Frank, oh, get this. So Frank's life is going to shout out his dad, Colin, on his birthday. So happy birthday, Colin, from your son, Frank's life. Oops, almost did it again. Keep it up there so I can see what I'm doing. I get a lot of those, um, I act as the middleman a lot in a lot of these shout outs. Somebody will ask me to shout someone else out, which is totally fine with me. I mean, no skin off my nose. I'll show out, shout out whoever you like. As long as it's genuine. And believe me, I can tell. And this, if you're a fan of anything like pine tree scented slash orange slash Christmas time, do not sleep. Buy this stuff immediately and use it, you know, until it's summer or whenever you, whenever you want. Wow, this, this razor is like butter. This is so smooth. What a great experience. I'm so glad. I've, this is only the second one I've ever done, you know, one of these 1918s. So I've got two of these now. Well, I've got one. My son has one. I brought it home on the plane with me so it wouldn't get left behind with all the other Christmas garbage that's coming home in suitcases tonight. Hopefully uh, everybody made it to where they wanted to go with that crazy Southwest Airlines snafu we had in this country last week. Oh, boy. Not cool for many, many, many people. Must have been so frustrating. I feel very fortunate that I made it all okay without any any problems. All right, there we go. Pass numero dos. Let's see how it feels. I don't need to do a third pass. Oh, it almost it almost even got rid of the problem. It didn't, but it almost did. Okay, I'll do one last little bit of a, of a thing. Just because, you know, just because. Under here, I don't really need to do anything up here. Maybe around my, the ends of my mustache zone. But everything else is super crazy smooth. That is fantastic. Wow. I mean, it's so simple. It is the simplest design ever. The simplest razor design. It's not too thick. It's thin. It just holds the blade. And, you know, I mean, come on. Look at that. There's nothing fancy about it. What a thing. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Habit. I'm trying to dry my hands before I pick this little guy up. Okay. Let's get the, uh, let's do this. Let's do up, a little bit across. Ooh, we could go. A couple little nicks there, but that's, hey, that's better than I thought it was going to do. Because these things, even though they look aggressive they aren't aggressive i mean i don't even feel the blade it's there of course but i don't really feel it you know that like the mula r41 of those ones where you feel it like the parker 99r those aren't very comfortable 
This one is just like ice skating. Right after it was Zambonied. Right after the skating rink was Zambonied. You know what a Zamboni is? Of course you do. Of course you all do. I got three little nicks. That's okay. We got another shout out. John and Crystal. Happy early New Year's Eve shout out to you. New Year's Eve. Coming up. John and Crystal. I hope you have a good one. Don't overdo it. I hope you uh, don't feel any pressure. That's the nice thing. I mean, look, there's a lot of downsides to getting old. And there's a lot of upsides too, socially. You don't have to worry about going out and partying. You know, you don't have to worry about, what are we going to do for New Year's Eve? Let's go to one of those champagne ball drops where it's just the same old restaurant you go to, you know, nine, to, you know, 11 months out of the year. But that one special night. That, you know, El Chico Mexican restaurant makes you, you know, spend $45, get some cheap Andre Brut champagne that costs $3 at the store, and they drop some balloons. You don't have to do that stuff anymore. You can sit home and watch TV, drink a glass of wine on the couch with your loved one. That's what you can do. Yes, I love it. Okay. The problem? Ah, oh, there we go. Get that down, and then I'll get the Allen block out to get the little cut taken care of. I should have asked Santa for a styptic pencil, but I don't like styptic pencils very much. They leave that white residue, which I do not like. And the alum doesn't, because I would wash it off. Of course, I guess you could wash off the styptic. I know, I heard you, I heard you. Yeah, just a few little nicks under the chin, which I would expect. Okay, it worked. And it's worked, woo! I'm gonna, I'll take the blade out and clean it up and everything, but man, <sighs> yeah. Good stuff. Fascinating. I love shaving with history, you know? Ooh! Me and Mark Felton, or Mark Felton and I, we need to start a new channel. Shaving with history. Dang. Ooh, you know what? There's a little bit more I need to get. A little bit more. I'm going to use the big one because I don't want to pick that little one up again. <laughs> Come on! There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice. Okay. Ugh. Okay, alum, alum block to stop the little nicks from nicking. Nick, 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 nick. There you go. There you go. Take care of business. I gotta trim uh, my ear hair. So while I'm waiting for this alum to uh, take effect, multitask, kids, if you can. Grab my this cheap old thing I got in Philips Norelco that I. You just take down. Once you notice you got little ear hairs starting to poke out, just take care of that. Knock it down. Get right in there. Done. There we go. Blow it out. Clean it up. Stick it back in the drawer. See? It's that simple, folks. Gentlemen, don't neglect your other parts that you need to get rid of hair. Please don't. Oh, that last one's kind of hanging out, but then I'm going to wash it off anyway. I got things to do, folks. I got a family to pick up at the airport tonight. Tonight. I had one lovely bachelor night last night, and you know what I do on my bachelor nights? I just go and I pick up food, and I come back home, and I watch TV. <laughs> and nobody bothers me. It's my little mini vacation. I don't get up to anything weird or gross. I just get to watch whatever I want to watch on the big TV. I don't have to, like... Scuttle upstairs to my little old, my little, you know, nine year old iPad. That, uh, <laughs> speaking of nine year old iPads, I got one last shout out before I put on the Sterling Christmas Eve aftershave. Oscar at Keep It Simple Shaving. Check out his YouTube channel, Keep It Simple Shaving. He's very chilled out, he knows his stuff. He's got some, ow, good video. Ooh, did I nick my nose? I nicked my nose. I was getting in there to get that last one. I got a little nick in there. Right, I'll, I'll deal with that in a minute. Anyway, Oscar, I like your channel. I like your cool, chilled out ways. And you know what you're talking about. Yeah, and he's good with a straight razor too, which I told him I'm too chicken to mess with. <laughs> but anyway, keep it simple shaving on YouTube. Go, sub Go subscribe, won't you? Yes, you will. All right, let's see. Yeah, all right, I'll just do this for a while. So if you see me walking around town like this, it, I'm not weird. I mean, I'm slightly weird, but there's, there's, a, there's a method to that madness. Anyway, well, the next time I'm going to see you, it's going to be next year. I'll see you next year. 
Happy New Year's, everybody. Be real safe and responsible and don't drink too much and don't drink and drive and all those things that you got to say to people. I don't know why. We don't have to say them, but I say them anyway because I'm a dad. All right. Have a great one, everyone, and I'll see you all next year.